Uh, okay, guys. Um, so Monster Zero here. I am going to do a quick run through on how to set up a brand new profile for a brand new joystick in uh, in XP Adder. Um, XP Adder is uh, if you guys have it already, then you know it's a pretty cool piece of software. Um, it's basically like you know control manager, just like comes with CH products, side tech products, all that, except it's uh, it's universal. You can use any any controller with it, so it's pretty great. Um, I still have my Hotas Warthog throttle plugged in, so let me unplug that. This may freak out. I don't, I don't think I like that very much. Let me close. I'm gonna close uh, XP adder down and then plug in. I have a uh, the new joystick I got. Well, a little junky throwaway one, a SciTech Aviator. I'll go ahead and uh, plug that in. And since I have never made a profile for it before, this will be a good uh, good starting point. Uh, yeah, plugged in. Let's make sure my uh, Windows sees it. Yep, Windows does see it. There's all my uh, axes, axes, buttons, all that crap. All right, cool. So, so Windows sees it. Let's go ahead and reopen uh, XP Adder. There we go. Okay. Now it's showing a blank device. It doesn't know what it is. Up here are your your device tabs. When you have uh, three or four plugged in, there'll be three or four tabs up here. Um, so th this is a blank tab. It it sees it. Yeah, right here. Name. SciTech Aviator joystick and there's axes all that tells me how many buttons I have how many D-pads you know everything like that pretty uh pretty pretty intuitive um, now here's where it's not very intuitive the left side of the window this section over here is your uh or layout and that is exclusive to your controller so for this SciTech Aviator I'm gonna have to make a layout um, and then once that layout's made based off that layout, I can make as many profiles as I want. I can make a profile for different games, one for IL-2, one for, uh, you know, DCS Black Shark, things like that. So so we'll go ahead and make our, our profile um, by, it tells you right here, click New to create layout or open. So we'll, uh, we'll go to New. Our uh, controller settings uh, window will pop up here. It says uh, Side Tech Aviator Joystick. And now here are all your options on the left side for, for making your profile. First thing I'm going to do is, uh, you don't have to put an image in at all, but I, I'm going to I'm gonna put an image in um, to here, background image. So I downloaded this guy off the internet, just a, just a picture of the controller. Um, it has to be a bitmap, and it has to be uh, 512 by 256 uh, pixels. So we'll open it up in... Uh, in paint shop or whatever the hell this is, the free thing that comes with uh, Windows. We'll go ahead and select all, resize, yada yada. Make this two, 256 tall. Oh, that didn't work too well. Uh, select all, select all, there we go. Resize. Do not maintain aspect ratio. Pixels, this should work a little bit better here. Why the hell is it doing that? Oh, goddamn! I'm an idiot. Sorry. I'm unchecking maintain aspect ratio. I'm, I'm should be leaving it on. I don't know why. I don't know where I got that notion from. All right, 256. There we go. That's good. All right, so I'll go ahead and cut this. I'll make a new. Uh, no, don't say. I'll make a new. Uh, oh, I think this is actually already set up from the last profile I made. Yeah, 512 down here. You can see it's 512 by 256. So I'll go ahead and paste in. Uh, that image, just put it dead center, looks good to me. We'll go ahead and save this as a bitmap. 24-bit uh, bitmap, and we'll just call it, I don't know, let's call it SciTech AV8R, what do you know? I'm just gonna put it on the desktop here, there we go. There's our picture. We can get rid of this junk now, I don't need it. Okay, so now that we got that here, image, we'll go to open. Uh, desktop, uh, side tech aviator. There we go. There's our image. All right, so we're good to go. Now, uh, now from here is where it gets uh, gets pretty cool. You have um, for some reason XP Adder. It's like based like its whole being, its whole reason for living. It's like it's based around an Xbox 360 controller. So um, that's what it's like set up for initially here. Right. So we have uh, options for for all of our control axes here. We we can use sticks. There's two on a 360 controller. Uh, D-pad, which I'm going to use my hat switch for, and buttons, which you know you can have as many as you want. Uh, you, you can add them, add them all on. So, so we'll start with buttons here, and uh, all you have to do is just just click a button. So right now I'm just going to click my trigger, and right there the button showed up. That's the trigger. Every time I click it, you can see it lighten up. You can see it lighten up on the profile behind there. So I'll go ahead and move this up 
by the trigger. Then I'll do the three buttons around the top of the uh, joystick. This is going to be a little lengthy. I may edit this video down because this part's going to get kind of boring. Or I won't. Depends on how lazy I am. All right, now I'll do these little toggle switches down here. There's up. There's down on the first one. So we'll just put these. I'm not going to spend time getting it neat. Normally I'm kind of anal and I, uh, I line things up perfectly. It's the second set of toggle switches. And uh, all I'm doing is just, just hitting the button. I'm just hitting the button. And when you're in this mode, um, it'll, it'll pop up. So now we'll do the toggle switches on the other side. Come on, fella. There we go. There we go. Both of them. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and do this uh, This switch in the middle. This is a mode switch on the joystick, which doesn't do anything. It's all software-based. They're, they're just buttons. But uh, what's cool about XP Adder is we can make our own mode buttons. We can have up to eight different modes. You can see the eight mode uh, panels down here. So uh, I'll go ahead and... Whoop, uh, I clicked both by accident. So there's, there's your A mode. We'll put that... Uh, here and there's your B mode. We'll put that here. And uh, I'm calling them modes, but like I said, on the joystick, the joystick doesn't know they're modes. They're just regular buttons. So we're gonna we're gonna program the modes in through XP Adder. And now the last thing I'm gonna do is just do my uh, my D-pad or, or my hat. Uh, you click enable. It'll ask you to push up. So I'm pushing up on my hat, down on my hat, left on my hat, right on my hat. Um, that's that's not the only way you can do it. You can set that hat up to be an eight way. You can set it up to be uh, you know controlled by your mouth. There's, a lot of options for this. Uh, really a lot of options. Pretty pretty, pretty powerful software. So we'll, we'll go ahead and hit OK. And then uh, here's here's our profile. So we'll save it. Save as, whatever. Um, here's some of my other profiles in here. Uh, Side ticket meter joystick. Yeah, it looks good to me. All right, so now that's saved. So now we have our, our template here. And um, there's options you can, you can mess around with um, in XP Adder, but I think I have it set up where it's going to reload the last profile. So I can just close it down. Let's go and open it back up. Yeah, there you go. And it sees that it's detected. Now, anytime this joystick's plugged in, it's going to load this profile with the little picture up there. And I, uh, you know, you can go the whole way across up top with a uh, controller. So that that's that's pretty much it. As as I hit um, as I hit uh, my buttons, you can see they light up green. And uh, uh, I'll show you how to program them. It, it couldn't be easy. It's it's probably the easiest software I've ever used to program a joystick. I, I, it, it's really really easy. So uh, well, first things first. Let's do our mode switch here. This is pretty cool. Um, so when I turn this little dial, um, it, or it could be a button, it could be anything you want to assign it to. But on this particular joystick, it's a dial. So right now it's in the off position, which is no button presses. So when I turn it to A, it's a constant button press for A. When I turn it to B, it's a constant button press for B. So we'll back it back down to off. And what I'm going to do is for A here, I'm going to right click, set selector, go to set to, and while held. So that means that when A is, uh, is being held down, my profile will switch over to its second set. So I'll show you what I mean exactly by that. Click it to A, bam, now we're in the second set. And now what that means is, let's say in set one, um, let's say I want this to be for air combat. I'll make my trigger. Well, here, let me show you. Show you this first of all. Um, I'm going to make my trigger a gun, and then for mode two will be my taxiing ground handling. I'll make I'll make it a brake switch. So, to program a button, so easy. Just click on it. Here's a keyboard. You can either click the key or key combination you want, or you can just hit it on your keyboard. Um, so I'll just hit space. Bam. Now it's space. Um, so we'll go to we'll go to set two and it's blank because I didn't program anything in there for set 2. We'll go ahead and make it uh, a B for wheel brakes, I guess, something like that. So uh, so profile 1, it's uh, it's space bar, which is normally like fire gun, and uh, profile 2, it's uh, brakes. So now we can do the third um, button here. Now the only tricky thing with this is I think that I, I can't just make this set 3 while held in set 1 because I have to pass through A to get to B. So you can see when I switch to 2, now this button doesn't say second set anymore. It says 1 because it has a different function. If it went to set 2 again, then I would just be in an endless loop. I'd be stuck in 2. So now when I get off the button, it goes to set 1. So what I'm going to have to do is set this to mode 3, but from set 2. So we're in set 2. Now I'll set this to 3. Now let's see if this works. While held, same thing, and we'll see if this works now. Yep, I'm in three, 
back to two, back to one, two, three, two, back to one. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it, man. Now I have three modes. I can set any of these to other modes too. I can just toggle switch here, set four, wall held or one way. So now if I press up on this toggle switch, I'm in mode four, back to one. Uh, so I mean, you know, it, it it's pretty simple, man. And then uh, once you make a profile you like, you go ahead and save it. Um, I have a, a metric shit ton of profiles in here for all the different joysticks I use, but we'll go ahead and uh, we'll just call this generic aviator. What the hell did I just type there? No good at this type and stuff. All right, so generic aviator. So there's that profile, and uh, you can have a bunch. I can, like I said, I can one for IL2, one for you know whatever whatever game you load them up as you go. And uh, now. The coolest thing for me about XP Adder is that, well, now I'm done. Profile's done. Um, you can go into game, and while you're in game, if you want to change a key binding, just all tab out, change it on the fly. There's no, you don't have to upload the profile to the joystick. There's nothing like that. There's going to be no disconnect, so it'll just, it, you know, it just, it just works. Whereas, like, in DCS 810, if you wanted to change a key binding from inside the game, you would have to exit out of your game and go back to the options menu, which is like a killer. So this is really a lifesaver for me. Uh, you know, and that, that's that's really all there is. Um, I can show you. I don't know how well it'll work if I don't plug in the joystick. Where the hell is my G940? It's on the floor here. Um, I'll show you just for example another joystick. Let me go ahead. And, let me go and close XP Editor. And then I'll uh, I'll plug in my uh, let me unplug this aviator. I'll plug in my G940 stick. I only use the stick. I don't use the throttle and the pedals with the G940. Um, I use the I use I use a weird really I use a weird mix, a pretty weird Frankenstein kind of mix. I use the the stick from the G940. I use the throttle from the uh, let's make sure show from the uh, Warthog Hotas Warthog, and then I use CH pedals. So I'm kind of all over the place. So we'll uh, we'll go ahead and open this up, and there you go. It loaded my blank G940 profile. Um, I added these lines in uh, like Paint Shop or something like that. Just give me a heads up. So I have this China hat switch up here set to control mouse in most of my games, um, and I have the middle click button as like the left click uh, for for most games. So. Um, you know, it's handy for views, everything like that. And then you can just see all the other buttons have them all mapped. This hat switch here I got mapped, uh, my trigger, um, the thumb switch I normally use for mode profiles. And, uh, and that's, that's really all there is to it, man. I, I don't use... Uh I don't use the axis, axes. I don't program axes in, in XP Adder. I use in-game for the axes, because I, I just have never really had an issue with that. I've never needed to use axes in XP Adder. I use XP Adder pretty much just for buttons. So... Um, yeah, that's that's all there is to it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, anything else, I know I didn't cover everything. Um, and you can get into some pretty wild stuff. You can do some pretty wild programming in this. Uh, once once you have your your key binding menu, you can go to advanced, and you know there's all kinds of like sort of quasi scripting you can do to, to make some pretty cool, pretty intricate uh, commands. So if you have any questions on that, just let me know. Drop me a line, whatever. Send me a PM, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, see you guys later.